Belfast Hills Partnership. Today I'm going to be talking to you all about Mini Beasts, all the amazing bugs and insects that we have. Now there are about 1 million different types of species of insect on the planet and about 1.4 billion insects for every human on earth. They make up about 90% of all the world's species and they account for more than half the living things on our planet and they've been around for about 350 million years which is longer than the dinosaurs. So let's find out about why we should care about these really cool animals. Mini beasts like worms and centipedes keep the soil healthy by burrowing in and creating gaps for water to flow through the soil, which helps plants grow. Lots of the mini beasts living in the soil are herbivores and decomposers, which means that they feed on rotting dead plant material, which helps clean up and fertilize the soil by recycling all the important nutrients back in. In the UK, most pollination is carried out by thousands of different pollinating insects. Over 75% of our flowering plants wouldn't be able to reproduce and make new seeds without insects spreading their seeds and moving pollen from one flower to another when collecting yummy nectar. These plants are important habitats, food sources and help fight climate change and prevent flooding. Bees are one very important pollinator. They pollinate 70 types of crops and a third of our food depends on insect pollination. Without it, we would lose lots of yummy food, including strawberries, tomatoes, apples, and even chocolate. Insects are hugely important in many food chains and help support lots of wildlife. They are the main food source for many important species, including lots of birds and small mammals, which in turn feed bigger animals like foxes and birds of prey. Without insects, many of these food chains would break down and have devastating impacts on populations of key species that are already suffering. These food chains make up larger food webs and mini beasts play a key role. They are not only prey for other animals, but many are carnivores and help keep populations of other insects under control. For example, ground beetles help control numbers of slugs and snails, and insects like ladybirds and hoverfly larvae help keep down numbers of aphids and other garden pests, making them a good friend to gardeners. We find mini beasts in lots of different habitats, and this is somewhere where they can find food, water and shelter. They like places that are dark and damp, so you'll find them under rocks, under plant pots, and buried deep in the soil as well. If you go out in your garden or in your playground, you'll be able to find lots of these really cool bugs. So I've come out to my garden today to see what I can find, and you can too. We're going to go on a bug hunt, so here's what you'll need. You'll need a pot to put your bugs in, an ID guide, a tray or container, and a stick. I hope you've learned loads today about all our marvellous mini beasts and now you won't find them so gross and scurry. Now that you know how important they are and all the amazing jobs they do for us and our environment, you can help us protect them. You can spread the word to your family and friends about how important they are. And in your garden or your playground, there's loads of simple things you can do to help the mini beasts. Here's a few ideas. You could plant some wildflowers so that insects like bees and butterflies have lots of yummy nectar and pollen to collect. If you have grass, let it grow a bit longer in spring and summer so that it can be a welcoming habitat for insects who like the weeds and flowers. Leave old plants uncut as bugs can shelter among the stalks and in winter time take refuge within the hollow stems. Create a simple bug hotel. It's fun and easy and bugs will love moving in. Find an instruction video on our YouTube channel. Build a log or a rock pile. Collect material from around your garden to create a quick and easy haven for lots of mini beasts. 
These will provide excellent shelter for lots of bugs and give them a range of habitats to move in between when they're moving around to look for food and warmth. It's important we know how to help mini bees as they're really in trouble. About a third of insects are in decline, including lots of butterflies, bees, moths and beetles. Over 40% of insects are facing extinction in the UK and at a rate that's eight times faster than other animals like mammals, birds and reptiles. This is because lots of their habitats are being destroyed or lost and they can be really affected by climate change and pollution. So any simple things that we can do that give insects a safe home will be a really great help. Okay guys, I hope you had loads of fun today in your bug hunt and you found loads of really cool bugs. The bugs are going to love what you're doing in your garden and your playground to help them out. So well done on helping these marvellous mini beasts and thank you.